Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to another Smash Bros. character moveset tier list. Today I am going to be doing Jigglypuff, and I just got done recording Captain Falcons. So I'm going to be going from pretty confident to what the hell am I doing, because I do not play this character at all. I The last time I played her was actually not <laughs> just today, just to get a feel for her. But before that, I cannot remember. It's been forever since I played this character. And I am horrible with Jigglypuff. And I also hate this character <laughs> when going against her. Because they always destroy me. So, pretty annoying. But, let's just go over the tiers real quick. So, we got remove moves that I believe should just be removed from her kit. Because they do basically nothing. I put bad, but with a question mark at the end, because I don't know if these moves are bad or not. Maybe there is a use for it, but I just cannot figure out what the hell that move does. So it's kind of like my uncertainty tier, I guess you can say. Average moves that are just average at best. Um, good moves that are good to use in her kit, and then Balloon God. I, I just came up with this, um, moves that make Jigglypuff a freaking balloon god. I don't know, I don't, I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with this tier list, but I'm, I'm gonna try. Um, uh, this is gonna be inaccurate, but I'll, I'll do my best. So Jab, I think you can do some small combos with it, so about, I'm gonna put it in average, I guess. Let me look at the frame. So five frames start up. So not the fastest, but it's still a fast move, I, I guess. Um, it is pretty stubby though, so it might not be the best um, move in her kit, but it, at least it's something. It's better than nothing. Uh, forward tilt, I think you can angle it, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, you can definitely angle it, so, like always, I'm gonna put it in average, it's always nice to have an angling tilt for, uh, something, down tilt, I think this is, like, one of the worst down tilts in the game, um, Bad question mark? I don't know. <laughs> and then up tilt. I think this is actually a kill move, so I'll put it I'll put it up here. Um Dash attack. I think this is also a kill move and a decent burst option, so I think I'll put it right next to up tilt. Um so let's see, forward smash. So this is very similar to Kirby's forward smash, how it kind of lunges you forward. Um, but again, it is, just like for Kirby, it is kind of predictable if you miss, so I will have to put it next to down tilt. It's a little more usable than down tilt. But again, I could be wrong, that's why I named it that. Um, next we got down smash, and usually I put it up here because it hits both sides. It looks like it hits on both sides too, but it's also stubby as hell, so let me look at it real quick. Down smash. So, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There we go. See, it barely goes out, but I think, let me look again. So, it is still her fastest smash attack, so I guess I can put it up here. Um, yeah, I'll just put it here, whatever. Next, we got up smash, and honestly, I think down, or not down, up tilt kind of outclasses up smash. So, let me, hold on, let me look at what up tilt does, so, yeah, 9 frame startup, negative 6 on shield, so I think it's their safest grounded move. Yeah, up yeah, up tilt definitely a classes it. So I may put it next to up next to forward smash. God, this is this is bad. 
whatever. Um, so her aerials, they all kind of do their own thing. So like Nair is great for. Um, it's great for for breaking out of combos and messing up recoveries. So ideally, that's what you want to use Nair for in Jigglypuff, and then. Forward air. I think I'm gonna put forward air up in balloon god just because you can take someone off the map using just spamming forward air. So it's kind of an insane move if you can use it right, which which I don't think it's difficult to do since Jigglypuff has the best air mobility, so it's very good in your kit. And it can definitely be a danger to those who have horrible recoveries or horrible air mobility such as Luigi or Ganondorf or even Donkey Kong. Next we got down air or wait where's this is down air. Down air is right here. Down air. Okay. Sorry. Um so down air you can you can either use it to deal some damage or you can use it to confirm into rest so for that, I may put it up here in Balloon God. Um, it's not the easiest thing to do, so it can be a little inconsistent on some characters. But on heavy characters, yeah, you can definitely do it. So I think to do it, you have to down air and fastball, but you have to be very low on the ground. So, so probably like a short hop and then down air, and then you have to spam the rest move in order to in order to get the kill. Or get the rest confirmed. I, I believe that's how you do it. I could be wrong. I don't know. I can never do it because I suck with Jigglypuff. Next we got back air. And again, this is another kill move. So I'll put it right next to her nair. Actually, I'll put it I'll put it a little higher than... No, actually, no I'll just leave it here. Just because whenever you use forward air, I said this for Kirby, when you use forward air, or no, after you use back air, it'll turn you around, so you can't really spam back air a lot, since it turns her around, so sadly I will have to knock it a little bit down, but it's still a great move, it's still a great move. Um, Next we got up air, and this one's interesting, it's a strong move. It's a decent juggling tool. It also has a pretty long lasting hitbox, so it's kind of a unique move. So I'll put it higher than her other aerials in good tier. It's a good up air. And you can use it to, to start combos too if you fast fall. So that's always nice. All right, now on to her specials. Um, I'm just gonna put this down here. I don't think this move has ever been good. I think it's been at its best in this game, but it's still not a move you should <laughs> you should probably use since it takes time to charge it. You can your opponent can easily avoid it. It's also very very predictable and. You know, you're pretty much in danger. It's kind of like Yoshi's side B. You know, you remember how I was freaking ranting about it? How much I hated that move? Well, same, the same applies here to roll out. You know, you're pretty much in danger. However, it is, it is tied to neutral B. So you're not going to be using roll out accidentally as much as Yoshi's egg roll. So that's Kind of like my argument why I think Yoshi's Egg Roll is worse than Rollout. But this is still a terrible move. So I st I'm still going to put it all the way at the bottom. Next we got Pound. This thing is stupid. I don't know why it's so freaking... I feel like it lasts like a century whenever I get hit by this. Like I can never punish that. Because when I try to punish it, I get hit immediately. And it also does a ton of shield damage, and you can use it as like a recovery aid, so... Without this, what is Jigglypuff? I don't know, just... She's just a balloon. She's not a balloon god without this. <laughs> Next we got Rest, and... 
just uh, this one's interesting because like, for Luigi, I said up B was like I think I said it was average because yes, it's a very strong move whenever you connect it or when you combo into it. But if you miss, you get punished. So that's kind of like my argument of why I put it in average. And yeah, that point still stands with rest. I'll put it. I'll put it higher than jab and F tilt because I don't know. It's it's more it's more impactful than jab and F tilt. Even though you can use jab to jab lock and then do a and then do a sing and then rest. So that's kind of like your main bread and butter when it comes to setting up. Or you can do like drill down air into into a rest or I think even pound into rest or a throw into rest. So there's confirms into it, just like Luigi's up B. Next we got Sing, and I'm gonna put Sing in. I'll just put it right below rest. Actually, I think I'll put it. I'll put it at the bottom of good. How does that sound? I think. I'll, I'll put it there. Um, so you can basically, I, I, there's also confirms into it, just like rest, so you can, you can do like a drag down combo, or like a, I think you can do up air on a platform, while they're on a platform, and then it'll put them in a tech situation, you can use that to read a tech, and then, and then hit them with the rest. You can also do jab lock into rest or sing. I mean, not rest sing. Or you can just use it raw and hope your opponent will roll into it. So if they're doing a lot of rolling, definitely use sing because it'll definitely catch them off guard. But you are a sitting duck when you use it, so you can get punished pretty badly if you use sing. If they not to punish it, of course. So now on to her throws, and I want to be honest with you, I think forward throw is like her only good one. So I'll just put it in average right above her her grounded moves. But all her other throws, I think I'm gonna put it here. I don't know what these do, so if anyone can tell me what it does, you know, feel free to let me know. Because I legit have no idea. So, this is my list. I, this is probably a terrible list. I'm probably going to get a lot of disagreements. So, if there are any, feel free to let me know. But, anyways, that's going to be it for Jigglypuff. I forgot to say this in the beginning, but shout out to Tony NBM underscore JPG for making this tier list. Um... And yes, we are finally done with the Smash 64 OG characters. I am I am excited to get started with the melee characters since there are a lot more interesting characters to go for. Or not to go to go over, sorry. But yeah. I uh, hope you all enjoy this. I will see you guys next time. Peace.